Module 7. Data Types Computers store data. This data could be in lots of different forms. It could be text, numbers, even images. The computer needs to know what sort of data you are going to store in your program because it represents the data in different ways. In programming, there are some specific data types that are used in almost all programming languages. String is a data type that represents characters. These can be letters, numbers, symbols, even the space is a character. If you ever need to store text, then you will store it in a string. Numbers might be stored in a string when you don't want to perform any calculations with them. This is because you can't do calculations on strings. They're treated like words. All strings must be enclosed in speech marks, otherwise the program might think that they are identifiers, like a variable name which would cause an error. Integer is a number, but a specific type of number known as a whole number. There can't be a decimal point, so the number 1 is an integer 10, 100, 999999, minus 300, minus 4921. Decimal values such as 2.6 and 33.3928 cannot be represented as an integer. These are known as floating point numbers, or float for short. If you want to store a decimal number, then you need a float. In some languages, it's known as a real or single. So here we can store that 2.6 or 3.3928 and also minus 931.453. We can also store integers in here, so we can store 11. It will just be stored as 11.0. A final data type you might need is a boolean. A boolean is true or false. That's it, nothing else. Not even the word true, so it can't have speech marks around it. Just true or false. You don't have to tell the computer what data type you are using, but it is specific about how different types of data are used and so it is important to use them consistently. You can't add together a string and a number, for example, 1 plus 1 will produce an error because 1 would be treated as a word. It's the same as trying to do H plus 1. You can, however, do H plus I. This will join the letters together and give you HI. This is known as concatenation. You can convert data from one type to another if you need to. For example, you have the number 1 as a string, but need it as an integer, you can use the function int. We can change it back again by using the function str. You can use float in the same way, just replace the int or str with float. This is known as casting, as you are specifying how the computer should treat the data. So when this code is run in line 3, the letter 1 is stored in my word. In line 4, 1 is converted into an integer and stored in the number. And finally, in line 5, it's turned back into a string. This program is pointless, but it shows you what you can do with casting. Be careful with your data types. Python only allows certain types in certain situations. For example, if you read an input from a device like a keyboard, Python will always read it as a string. So if you need the data to be an integer, you'll need to convert or cast it in the code. To output to a screen, Python needs all data to be strings. So if you want to output an integer, you have to cast it to a string first.